Hello, welcome to Echo Catcher Tarot. This is going to be a Pisces Aries Cusper reading. Cusp is somebody who has a birthday within three days, grace period of the signs changing from Pisces to Aries. Please remember there's no way this can connect to every single person out there. So take what you can use and leave the rest. And welcome cross watchers and thank you so much for all the support on the channel. So the oracle cards are here, the tarot cards are here, this will be the energies around you, you will probably show up over here, this will all be for you. So the first instinct you have when I pull a card on who it relates to around you is probably the best choice. So the first one for you is adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Adversity means that you have recently had a very hard situation that you have came out of. It was out of the norm, I'm being told for your life and it was very difficult. Something that was not easy at all. That was very difficult. So whatever it was I feel like it changed you and it made you look at something differently. I feel like to me this is a lighthouse there with a lot of different um, patterns coming out of it. So it was an epiphany if you will. So the next one is grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So grief is very hard to deal with. Adversity and grief together is very, very difficult. So grief is hard. It's best to deal with all the emotions we have, but grief is definitely one of the hardest. So it's kind of self-explanatory that sometimes we take things for granted and we don't realize what it is. Or maybe you didn't even take it for granted. You just didn't realize it was ever not going to be in your life. So the next one is purpose. I know what I am here to do. So somehow I feel like this adversity, this grief has made you change dramatically to where you have a higher purpose or a higher meaning to your life now. So I'm going to switch to the Mystical Cats Tarot deck. So the first one we have is Four of Skies. So somebody is withdrawing from everybody else to heal. I feel like Somebody is alone a lot of the time. They're trying to figure out, navigate how they're going to um, move forward in their life. I feel like this is very difficult, but you're healing yourself when you're sleeping. So if other people tell you you're sleeping too much, you're actually healing yourself when you are. So Fire Tom is somebody who takes chances, and they're usually not good chances. This person doesn't care if they get burned from the chances they take. They don't care if other people get burned from the chances. So somebody is very brazen at taking chances that aren't always good for them. So Sea King is somebody who loves somebody. I feel like this person loves you and they're watching you with love, but they don't communicate to you. I feel like they live away from you as well. So the lover. So the lover is Gemini placement. I see a lot of passion in there and I see the healing under the blanket. So we have the healing here when you're sleeping and we have the healing in a lover situation. So I do feel like sleeping and being intimate with somebody you love gives you strength. So the cat. The cat is taking a leap of faith. It's usually my precursor to true love coming into you. I see your emotions are balanced. The sun is in there that you're going to go towards your sun, but you have to take a leap of faith. You have to do something out of the ordinary to go towards your sun. But it's going to be beautiful going there. I see the flowers, the blue sky. So Fire Queen tells me there's somebody around you that's going to be angry or is angry. Somebody is not happy with your choice. They are very angry at, yeah, your choice you're going to make. Wow, and then Ace of Fire. So this to me is anger as well. This to me is a group of anger. It's this uh, pauper in here is either a family that's going against you, a family member, or a group of friends that are a lot of alike that are going against you and feeling angry. This could also be passion, so keep that in mind. Either or. Most cards have two meanings. So this is cat magic. So cat magic, wow, you had the, the cat and now cat magic. So this to me is you manifesting what you want to go towards. This could be religion. This could be spirituality. This tells me that you are starting to plan where you want your life to go. You're being more direct and more thorough of how you want to do things. 
So Sky King is uh, somebody watching you who's very cold to you. They don't communicate to you. They're very cold. So the sun, wow, this is beautiful. So you have happiness. You're going towards your happiness. You are going to be basking in the joy of light, the happiness of light. True love, Ace of C, wow, true love is coming to you. True love, you're going towards your happiness and you're going to find true love. So, Ten of Fire. There's people around you or an addiction possibly you need to move away from. This is you leaving chaos and drama. So now I'm going to switch to the Tarot Illuminati. Oh wow, I didn't realize this was almost out of time. How did that happen? I Maybe I charged the wrong battery. Wow, I hope this doesn't cut off. This is a good reading. So maybe I should just pull the Oracle of E-Card. So the first one is Silver Lining. This is an ending. You're going to see the silver lining to why this happened. Free Falling. You're going to go in any direction you want. You have that ability, which is the weather vane. Musing right along is telling me you're going to be happy, that your life is going to go forward, and you're going to be happy. You're going to like lose track of time. Wow, I'm glad I looked at that to see. That's terrible. So the next one is Breakthrough to New Dimensions. This is getting out of emotions. You're going to break through. You're going to be happy. It's a seven. And then Drift in Shallow Water is a sea turtle. This is Migaloo, Migaloo Jr., the good luck whales, albino whales in Australia. So a drift in shallow water means there's some sort of emotion that could keep you going in circles. Deal with an emotion. It's not a deep emotion. Something on the surface that you need to deal with so you don't keep going around in circles concerning that. And so angels and ancestors is Mother Earth. Feel loved and comforted. That is beautiful. So feel loved and night. Be brave and honest. So this talks about love. You see the rose there. You see the chalice which is your cup being full. You see the religion factor in there, him holding his sword. He has a tear on his eye is what it states in the book because he hurts for that he has what other people may not be able to find. And feel loved and comforted is you feeling comfort in your, in your transforming and finding comfort in being vulnerable being vulnerable like you've never been before being comfortable and open with somebody that you feel safe with so i didn't pull the um enlightened deck because the battery's almost dead so thank you so much pisces aries bless you